Good evening. At CH Twim Hill, we believe that America's might starts with its mind power. And that axiom is perfectly evidenced by National Security Medalist An Duong. Her intelligence has helped make U.S. weaponry smarter, which has empowered our troops to do their jobs more effectively. It is now my pleasure to welcome the presenter of the National Security Medal, Secretary of the Navy, Donald Winter. Today we are honoring a true American hero, someone whose life story is both an inspiration and an example of what happens when hard work, talent, and opportunity are combined in a free country. As a refugee from Vietnam after it fell to the communists, An Duong knows firsthand the consequences of what can happen when American military forces withdraw from a country threatened by violence. Untold numbers of innocents are left to the mercy of brutal rulers. It was America's great fortune that An Duong was able to escape that fate and bring her special talents and determination to our shores. An Duong arrived in the U.S. knowing almost no English, but like so many other immigrants who came before her, she applied herself with extraordinary intensity to her studies. After studying chemical engineering in college, she went on to become an explosives expert for the U.S. Navy, which recognized her abilities and continued to promote her to positions of greater and greater responsibility. After 9-11, the work done by her and her team was of the highest priorities of the U.S. military. Our military leaders, having studied the lessons of World War II and the difficulties of defeating enemies hiding in caves, understood how costly such tactics could be to our soldiers and Marines. With the Twin Towers still smoldering in New York, everyone on An's team understood that their success or failure on a thermobaric explosive technology project would be critical to the safety of our soldiers on the ground in Afghanistan. Her team of nearly 100 scientists, engineers, and technicians went from concept to manufacture of 11 new thermobaric bombs in only 67 days. It was, it was an astonishing feat achieved under enormous pressure. Ann and her team saved the lives of our soldiers, sailors, and Marines and helped bring a rapid end to the Taliban regime. The impact of what Ann did is truly extraordinary. Under her leadership, her team helped us to accomplish critical military objectives allowing three million Afghans to return to their homeland. An, I salute you and your team for your outstanding contributions to national security and to the protection of American lives. Thank you for your noble service and support of Operation Enduring Freedom and for your many years of service to our nation. And now I invite everyone to join me in watching a video that illustrates the many ways in which An Duong embodies the American dream. I still remember when I was a little girl uh, back in Vietnam. We lived close to an Air Force base. My brother was a helicopter pilot in the South Vietnamese Air Force. And during the war, I remember many times standing by the gate, waving goodbye to him after his short holiday with us, with tears streaming down my face thinking this might be the very last time I ever saw him again. Never forgot the 58,000 Americans plus the other 260,000 South Vietnamese soldiers who died in that war. So I feel that I owe my second chance in America to all of those people. As soon as I graduated from college, I found my way uh, to U.S. defense. About um, a month right after the um, September 11th um, tragedy, I got a request from the Defense Threat Reduction Agency to see if we could help come up with a weapon to um, help our guys in Afghanistan. The explosive itself could take five, seven, sometimes ten years to develop. We did not have five years. So within 67 days, uh, my team of over 100 scientists and engineers and technicians and uh, 
uh, support contractors, we came up with a weapon which is now known as the Blue 118 Bay. A thermobaric weapon could last longer and travel much uh, greater distance to reach the target deep inside the tunnel so that our guys would not have to flush out these hills or caves by foot. As a scientist, my hope is to give them the best means, the best tools that they could have so that they could return intact to their family. That's how I see my job. So um, as an adult working for U.S. Defense, every time I hear a report in Iraq or in Afghanistan, and I would immediately thinking of me as a little girl standing by that gate. So I always vow that I would want to do anything and everything I can to make sure that our guys are coming back to their little sister waiting by the gate. Please join me in honoring the winner of the 2007 National Security Measure Medal, An Juan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 32 years ago, I came to this land as a refugee of war with a pair of empty hands and a bag full of broken dreams. I never thought that there would be a day like today where I would have the great honor of being in your company, distinguished Americans and dedicated public servants. This medal, you see, is not much of a reflection of my humble accomplishments as it is a reflection of this paradise called the United States. This land is a paradise not because of its beauty or its richness, but because of its people. The compassionate, generous Americans who took my family and me in 32 years ago and heal our soul, who restore my faith in humanity, and who inspire me to public service. There's a special group of people that I'm especially indebted to, and I would like to dedicate this medal to them. They are the 58,000 Americans whose name are on the wall of the Vietnam War Memorial, and the 260,000 South Vietnamese soldiers who died in that war in order for people like me to earn a second chance to freedom. May God bless all of those who are willing to die for freedom, especially those who are willing to die for the freedom of others. Thank you.